Okay, welcome everyone. Uh, welcome to our course, courseware, and this is the introduction to the web code, web coding and development course that is being brought to you under partnership with the MOOBS, Makere University Business School, Uganda Communications Commission, and the government of Uganda, under providing capacity development for for secondary schools and primary schools of Uganda. In this course, we are going to be taking a look how to build websites and web pages from scratch and how we can host them and run them on two web servers and how we can we do we can use technology to ease our day-to-day -day business and functionalities in our endeavors in our business. So in the course is web coding and involvement, and here is the outline of the things we are going to cover within this course. In module one, we are going to understand the dynamics of the web coding and involvement, how the flow works. Here we are going to take a look at wireframings, drawing a sketch map for the website, the features you will need to, and to, to achieve a certain task, and how you can go about it. In the next module, we are going to learn how to set up our web development server and how to put them up and running for testing. We are going to, in the next module, we are going to learn how to set up a web host. That is a web host that is online and can be accessed anytime, anywhere, as it is hosted on, online on the internet. In the next week, we are going to start with the hands-on approach onto the front-end involvement part one. Here we are going to be using HTML and CSS. In that same week, we are going to learn how to structure web pages using HTML and how we can build backbones of websites. Module two, we are going to learn how to style these web pages using CSS and how we can beautify them and make them look attractive. Three, we are going to learn how we can size and position page elements, like the way we are seeing that flag in the top corner, how we can achieve some of such functionality using positioning and style sheets. Module four, we are going to learn how to create page layouts, how we can make like, uh, this page should look like this on the top bar, how should the menu look like, where should this element be and this element be. In week three, we are going to, to tackle the front-end development part two, whereby we are going to start using JavaScript, which is a scripting language for the browser, and how it works. We are going to go into detail about that. Then, here we are going to start with an overview of JavaScript, how it evolved the developer, how it works, understanding of JavaScript variables, and how we can use them, and how we declare them, and how we can access them within a program. Module we are going to see how we can build expressions. Module we are going to learn how to control the flow of JavaScript and how and the program execution within JavaScript. We are going to uh, to start now going into deep into functions. How we can use functions to control the flow of the program and how we can do function calls whenever we need them. Six, we are going to, to learn how to work with objects and how we can use these objects to achieve our main objective. We are going to learn how to work with arrays. We are going to break down all this so that we get to the same page working with arrays. We are going to learn how the manipulation of strings, dates, and numbers works in the JavaScript. Now we are going to the week four, coding the front end parts using jQuery, or what most people can say it's like Ajax jQuery. In that same week, we are going to develop pages using jQuery and how we can do the DOM manipulation, how we can access the DOM elements, things of the sort. So sit tight, guys. Module 2, livening up web pages with animations, 
and events so that you, people you can understand how you can call actions let's say something happened the user should know are you trying to delete something then it should tell you getting to know the J jquery user interface ui you can see even the picture uh, we are going to understand more how we can pop those elements now we are going to the most core one which will be the language of the server coding the back end php and mysql this php will help us in doing processing of pages and input and output and giving us query basing on the database now we are going to write a core database driven system in week five we are going to run php coding basics here on variables things like that how we can name them how php works we are going to learn how we can uh, execute database queries and how we can uh, insert to manipulate get those that data from the database and inserting and saving for future reference we are going to so we can use php to access the database and how we can retrieve that data to and from on and then in week six we are going to do the dynamic web development this is where we are going to learn how we can control form events we build forms with, with so that the system is generating data it's not just a static system but a dynamic system we are going to go in detail into that then within this mode you are going to, to learn how to use javascript object notation that is json and ajax so that we can make server side calls and php answers us and processes our requests to give us what we need that will be php mode one and we are going to in the mode you are going to build and process web forms this is where we are going to find the enter your username and passwords you are used to those things log in and log out register your name what is your email change passwords things like that so guys this is an interesting course please sign up module 3 validating form data that means we are going to validate what the users we are going to learn how those dynamics how we can know this is what we really expected from the user and for example say someone is registering with an email sure it should be an email not any random letters it should be a valid email address if it's a phone number it should be a phone number we are going to run that in mod 3 then in week 7 we are going to dive into doing web web apps these are the apps that run on, on two web and can be accessed differently using different device types we are going to learn how we can plan and build the mobile app from scratch we are going to look at wireframing we are going to look at designing user interfaces then in the module we are going to see how we can lay the foundation of the app according to what we need maybe let's say we need login we need logout we need transaction so that we know what what do we really need to achieve this laying the foundation mostly managing data this in this section we're going to learn more on data management which kind of data do we need from certain users which kind of data should this user access now that will bring us into also managing app users and access rights so so that we know who is who, who to access what for example if a normal user should only just see his profile and the administrator should actually delete that user that will come in that mode 4 of managing app users so we dive into the coding side of it the coding of mobile web apps these are apps that will be basically they run onto the web they run on mobile devices of all types and they run on actually all different screen sizes because they will be responsive in that module we are going to explore mobile first web development and the different technologies we can use to to, uh, to develop web apps sfu.js angular.js 
most of those things you are going to look at them, to look at them within this section. Then we dive into the deep side of it of coding and we see how we can actually build these products into play. Thank you.